Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I hope that you all are having a good day. So the reason why I'm on is because the Lord wanted me to come on to talk about uh, one of the most important things that is holding up a lot of us on today from getting to the new levels that God seeks to take us to. And the one key factor, uh, of course, you know, you need him. But the, the other key factor is love. That's right. Love can keep you from moving forward into the places where God is needing to set you on today. It could be... Uh, uh, something that you did not intend to turn to hatred from things that people are doing against you. Um, see, in life and being in Christ, we have to learn how to have love, the same love Jesus had for us, the things that we did to him uh, before, you know, he left to uh, before he died and to be raised up again on the third day, the things that we being man did to him you know he still you know never forgot how to 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 remain in perfect love as god has for many of us today having love uh not existing in your life today can keep you from experiencing the things that god needs you to experience such as you know, and not only needs for you to experience, but wants for you to experience such as, you know, marriage, uh, being taken to higher heights in him. You can't get to these places or walk in these places without having love. Some of you all is holding you up from the great things that God wants to do for you on today. Some of you all, you know, it could be like my dear sister who was telling me about her neighbors. God is trying to teach you how to keep love regardless, you know, to what they are doing against you. If as you continue to keep yourself humble, you will see God's hand going before you and making a way to pull you out into the things that he has for you to possess for the Lord has not forgotten you his eyes are upon you and he will not take his hand off of your life and cover you yes they may try to destroy your personal items and do things like that to try to get you off the path that God is calling you to on today continue to push forward continue to be humble don't get upset yes God is telling you to wait because that which you are going to he has greater for you so continue to obey his voice and be patient until he pulls you in to that which he is calling you to okay amen um but that's the perfect example as to what i'm trying to do the devil is trying to throw in distractions to cause you to sin because hate is a sin Waration is a sin. The things that fear is a sin. These things are displeasing to God because when we know that he is with us, those things are not supposed to cling to us. So regardless to what people are doing to you, let me tell you, I could, I could stand up here and I could tell you all day long, but you know, about the things that people have done to me, the one thing that pulled me out faster than anything then my moping, my whining, and my complaining could ever do in the sight of the Lord was the moment I shut my mouth and I stopped trying to fight for myself because I re I had to come to determination that the battle was not mine. All God was looking for me to do was to remain in love and remain in him above all things. When you get to a place of being able to get your emotions intact, and know how to have self-control, then God can sit you in the places he's calling you to. But if you don't know how to abide in perfect love, you know, how can you get there? You know, so God is, is calling, you know, those of you who have been dealing with a lot of hurt, a lot of pain and being weighed down in these times, you know, like he used me to tell you all before things from years, years, it's, it's these people, some of the people have died off and it's still on you. You know, God is causing, calling for you to come closer to him. 
He's going to fill the void places. He's going to mend the brokenness. He's going to place in you the love that you are needing so that you can, when he places your mate in your life, who you're supposed to marry, you will be one with them. You know, you'll be able to remain with them and not cause the pain and the hurt from times past to be brought over into the new relationship. Some of you all just need to hold off on trying to do the man hunt or the woman hunt to find your perfect mate and just learn how to spend time with God and how to love him first. And as you, uh, as you learn how to love him in the way he needs you to, then he will teach you how to love yourself, how to forgive yourself. Then you'll be ready to move forward into the relationships and the people that God is needing to bring into you. That's going to push you forth where you need to be, but you can't get to that point until he continues to deal with the intents of the heart because the heart you know, and the things that we allow within it can put you in a predicament of thinking that someone is the enemy when that person is not against you. They're sent from God to help you. But if your heart is not in order in the way that it needs to be, it will reject that person and cause delay on plans and places that God needs to sit you in. That's why it's so important to know how to remain in love, how to always put love first as it was given to you before you were even born. Like I said, Jesus did it for us on the cross. He had the authority to call down angels of heaven to come down and to destroy us. But not once did he ever act out and not putting love first. That is how he was able to contend. That is how he was able to push through. That is how he was able to carry the many burdens that were, that was striked against him in that day. You know, love, love conquers all things. The word of God said, it's very true. When you learn how to, to live your life and the love that God is calling you to on today, watch and see what happens as you begin to walk into obedience to what he's needing you to do in this time. Watch and see what happens. Hey, babe, you had anything you wanted to say? Just on what you were just saying about love. Praise God. Praise we know that the word of God say that perfect love casts away fear, casts away all fear. And once we know that the love of Christ that live within us, it casts away any doubt, any fear that the devil tried to bring upon us. So just wanted to just share that with y'all. Uh, again, like my wife was being used by God to share with someone about love. You no, know, uh, just share with y'all that you got to realize that the world, the little G is of this world, do not like the big G that is that little within us. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Jesus said that they hated me. So then the world is going to hate you also. Mm -hmm. So again, that come back down to love. Mm -hmm. Perfect love casts away all fear. Mm -hmm. So y'all have a blessed day. Yes, y'all have a blessed day. And from what my husband just said, he helped me to remember something else. Again, you all, you cannot think that you are in Christ, you know, that anything in you that should not be there can be hidden. When you are in Christ, he is going to work on even the hidden things. Some of the things that we take and we push down that other people don't know about. Remember, God sees all, knows all, and he's going to work. On those things that you've hidden in you to bring out the best you. Well, that's the reason why that the word of God says the word of God is like a two is like a two two edged sword. Mm -hmm. It pierces the soul. Mm -hmm. It goes down into the spiritual man, to mm -hmm. the soul, mm -hmm. to the heart. Mm -hmm. Whatever is not is a, whatever is not is, whatever that is not of God, mm -hmm. it cuts it. Yeah, that's where that word comes from. Yeah, you no, know? no, the word of God is like a two edged sword. When it cut, it cuts going in and it cuts going off. Yeah. But a lot of people don't want to be cut by the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Mm. All mm. right, all right. And we know we have some phone calls to do. Mm. So uh, just be looking out. Uh, we do live in Louisiana. So um, it'll be from a 225 number. So if we get to your name today on the list, then we are going to be giving you a call to see how everything is going and to pray and speak life over you. Whatever it is that God is leading for us to do, you be blessed and you all have a good day. Be looking out for that phone call. Have a good day, sweets. Bye. Mm.